Hi, I'm Lisa, and this is a follow-up to my previous video on the different options on how to print white. And specifically, we're going to talk about options three and four and how to create a spot color so that you can send your document to a professional printer or print it yourself on your own white ink printer if you have decided to invest in one. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to create a new layer here in the Layers panel. If you don't see the Layers panel, go to Window and Layers, but what I have over here is my workspace and I've chosen Typography, which pretty much has all of the options that I like to use uh, in case you want to set up your workspace as well. So we're gonna go here to the bottom and we're gonna say Create New Layer. And I'm gonna call this my white layer and I'm also going to color code it white. <laughs> to help me identify it. Inside this white layer is where we put the items that we would like the white printer to print in white. So let's first create our, our spot color. So go over here to swatches and if you don't see swatches you can go to window color and swatches as well. That's another way to get to it. And we're going to create a new color. So I simply just take another color that's already there. It doesn't matter. You can create a new color. Um, and I'm going to make this a spot color. So here in your color type, you're going to select spot and CMYK under color mode because it's going to print. Remember CMYK is for printing and RGB is for screens. So white is simply the absence of color. So percentage of all of these different colors, you guessed it, it's zero. And we end up with a white color over here. So it's called new color swatch. I'm gonna call it white in all caps so that we know it is my white, I'm just gonna call it my white swatch. I'm going to say okay, and now I have a white color. Great, now anything that you want to put into white for the white printer should sit inside this layer called white layer, and it should also be colored with your new white swatch, whether it is an object like this oval or it is text and it should be inside this layer. So the last step is you're gonna to go to Window, and then you're going to go to Output and Attributes, and you're going to select Overprint Fill. And that is all you need to do to print white for your printer. Um, little note, a uh, tip, if you are printing white and obviously there's no other colors in it, I would go ahead and create this, what I've called my blue box. So without the blue box, you can't see anything. It's going to be the same if you create some text or an object. I would put this in there and simply just hide it when you send it to the printer or let the printer know um, to turn that off before they print and this way they can see what's on the page. All right, I hope that helps and good luck with your white printing.